Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. Today I thought we could look at a very popular coding interview question. Reverse a linked list. So we start off with a linked list, which looks something like this. And what we want as an output is the reversed version of this list. The trick here is to keep track of the next node, so that when the next node is no longer available via dot .next, you actually have it stored in a variable. And also keeping track of the previous node allows you to continue to set the dot .next to the previous node. Here's what that looks like. You start off with a previous that equals to none, or null, depending on what language you're using, because there's always nothing previous to the first node. Then you want to iterate over the linked list. So you say something like while head. Now you want to keep track of the next node. So you put the next node into a variable, which is this node right here. Now you want to point your current node back to the previous node. So you want to make your current node's head.next equal the previous node. The next thing you want to do is since previous is set to none, you want to make sure the previous also moves along as well. So you set your previous node to your current head. Now we want to actually iterate to the next node because we are iterating over a linked list. So this is where our variable comes in, which we stored over here. And we make head equal next node. This is where the key logic is actually, because you can't really iterate over a list the way you traditionally would by saying head equals head dot next, because dot next now points to what we called previous. On the first iteration, previous is none, so this is just going to point back to none, and the current node is going to become this node. But then on the second iteration, since we set previous to head in the first iteration, you can now point this back to the previous node. And you keep doing that until you essentially have your reverse linked list. We can jump into the code and type this solution up. So like I said, previous is always going to start with none because there's nothing before the first node. Then we're going to say while head next node equals head.next head.next equals previous previous equals head and head equals next node. And if we give this a run, then we have to return pre. Let's submit this. And there you go, all the test cases pass, everything works. I would like to clarify why we return pre. We start off with this list. And we end up with the same list reversed. When we iterate over each node, we're always pointing the next back. The loop ends over here, actually, when head becomes none. So if we return this, that doesn't solve anything. So we have to return the previous node. I hope that's clear. I think it should make sense. Spend some time on this. It's a little bit funky, especially just because of the order of the operations. That's going to be it. That's a very popular question. I suggest you get to know it. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That'll be it for this one. I'll see you next time.